Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to briefly show off you how you can import a color palette into Blender and use it for texture painting. So in Blender, if you want to import a palette, you're going to need to enable an add-on. So let's go to the top left and choose Edit Preferences. And the add-on you're going to need in the search bar is called Import Palettes. So when you do this, it's going to add a couple options to the file import menu, which you can use to import color palettes in a certain format. And then that is going to show up for your color palettes in texture paint. So let's go to file now and then import. And we should see two new options down here at the bottom, KPL palettes and ASE palette, which is the Photoshop format. So in order to grab a color palette, one site that's good for that is lowspec.com. All of these color palettes that you see here, uh, typically used for pics, uh, can be downloaded in a variety of formats. So for instance, if I want to grab, let's say the Snail Village palette, I can click here to download and we simply go down to choose .ase format since that's what's compatible with the Blender import. So let's download that. We can save it anywhere on our computer, but I have a folder dedicated to palettes, so I'm just gonna save it there. And now let's go into Blender and load that file. So in Blender, we go to File, Import, ASE. Now we locate that .ase file, double click to import it into Blender. And when we go down here to Color Palette, we'll be able to choose from the menu here and we can select our snail village palette so when we do that the colors are going to load in here so we can select between these different preset colors we can also click the plus or minus button if we want to add or remove from this palette but in order to actually start drawing on to our object we're going to need a image to draw on so up here where it says no textures if we scroll up we can hit plus and choose base color and now we can draw on top of that for this material. We can click on the plus, go to base color, put in the settings. So you might want to double the width and height for a higher resolution texture. Hit OK. Now you should see the color change from pink to just a bland gray here. But we can select our colors and draw on top of it. Also on the left side, if we click on this image icon, we can choose material based color. That's going to be the image that we're currently drawing on and we'll be able to see the flat image and how it looks on the actual mesh over here. So we can see the same colors are going to be reflected in different areas, uh, but they correspond with each other based on the UV mapping. Now, one final thing I want to point out, though, is that when you go to file new, it's not going to be there anymore. So if we go to texture paint, you're going to see that the color palette is no longer loaded here. So if you want those color palettes to be loaded up every time you start a new Blender file, then we can just load our current defaults by starting a file new general uh, layout for Blender. And then let's import the color palette once again. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up the snail village. We'll be able to see it in texture paint and it should be here but let's go back over to the layout tab and let's save the defaults so file defaults save startup file and now if we hit Control n start a new file we should still see that color palette if we go over to texture paint and then we can see here that the startup file is now going to include that color palette every time we load uh, a new project in blender so that's pretty much in a nutshell what you're going to need to know about importing color palettes into Blender and how you can also save them to your startup file so that you always have the same palettes to work with. So I've been Chris. I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see all of you in my future video content.